This is the Fisherfield Forest, the last wilderness of Britain. I set out alone to conquer six remote summits in a brutal 50-kilometer loop, scree fields, bogs, and river crossings. This route is known for breaking even the toughest hikers, and it broke me. Was it the harsh terrain, endless bogs, or the weight of my pack? This is a story of pushing limits, being humbled, and finding growth in failure. Midges! 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 You can't get me, Midges! Look, taking off my head, Ned. Taking off my head, Ned. All right, guys, welcome back to another adventure. We're here in the beautiful Scottish wilderness today. And the plan is to hike 50 kilometers, six peaks, including five Monroes, in about three days. Quite hot today, it's about 22 degrees Celsius. And when you're hiking uphill with a relatively heavy backpack, it doesn't take long to start sweating. With that, let's find a water source and find a good place to camp for tonight. That just puts the biggest smile on my face, guys. I mean, how beautiful, wow. What a blessing it is to be around Mother Nature like this and feel her love and energy so closely. Now that looks like a very good camping spot, guys. I think it's gonna be home for the night. Well, just under 10 kilometers today, and it took me about three hours and a quarter, which is significantly more than I expected. The next 40 kilometers are gonna be rough going because they're gonna be definitely harder than this. So 
but I'm energized, I'm happy, I feel great here and beautiful, absolutely beautiful spot to set up the tent and enjoy the majestic views. Not a good time to get wet, is it? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Thank you. I'm so hungry already. Mm. So I specifically targeted this spot for my first night as I have one meal that requires boiling water to eat and hopefully I can get a little fire going and then the rest of the food will be ready to eat. No cooking, no stove, no gas. Pair of new boots, I'm not in love with them. I'm already feeling what appears to be the start of blisters on my heels. I'm gonna put some of this Gatorade powder. I think it just helps to rehydrate at the end of the day. Cheers, guys. Well, it was going too well with the midges, I think. It's starting to get annoying, starting to bite. So I got the head net, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, I'm gonna give this fire a shot here. I'm not feeling too confident. The wood is pretty damp. It's been raining the last few days. I really don't have very good tinder, no birch bark, nothing really fine. I don't have a knife either here, so I can't process it down. So let's see how we get on. So with this lighter. Great, I think my lighter's done. That one's done. Lighter number two. Let's give this a shot. Midges are getting bad. Come on, baby. Oh man, the midges are so bad now. They're all over my hand. Nope. Yep, that's what I thought would happen. Come on. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. Come on, baby. Catch already, come on, you can do it. No, no. Looking good, baby. Just gotta feed it slowly and not smother it. Needs a lot of love, this one. I just need this one fire for one meal that I have. Otherwise, I lose like 550 calories of food that I can't really consume. Bingo, what's his name, oh? Yes, sir. Going old school today with the Thai red curry. Man, I'm tempted to go in the water, but it's getting a bit late and... Woo! Damn! She is a cold one. Oh, that's a cold one. That's a reminder that winter's coming. Now I can sleep well. I needed that. Oh, all right. Bon appetit, guys. Mm -hmm. Hits the spot. But to be honest, guys, my homemade dehydrated meals are better than real termite. No offense, real termite. <laughs> Smoke is really helping with the midges, keeping them at bay. Looking forward to getting in the tent and uh, getting some sleep. We got a big day tomorrow. Better get some rest. When the wind dies, guys, the midges just come out, eh? They're biting. They're biting. Ow. They're biting. So annoying. I don't know if you guys can see them, but there are clouds. Clouds of these midges right now. This is their time now. The wind has died and it has become their territory now. <laughs> Look at this cloud. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see that cloud? Like all over. Oh man. I got about 10 on my hand. Look at this. 
Oh my God. That is a mega cloud of meteors. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Man, these are really annoying, you know? They're right up there. Maybe more, maybe worse than the mosquitoes, man. I think definitely worse than the mosquitoes and possibly worse than the black flies. I'm not sure. Whoa, hello, hello, midges. You want some of this? You want some of this, midges? Man, rough. I think they're getting through my net. Oh boy. So many. Oh, wow. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Can you see? This is the worst, worst cloud of midges I've ever seen, I think. Right up there, right, right up there with the worst. It's like thousands of them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Midges, 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 you can't get me, midges. Look, taking off my head net, taking off my head net. You can't get me, you can't get me, you can't get me, midges. Put it back on. Ah, ah, ah. You, ah, okay. All right. Hopefully I got them out now. The ones that were in, you know? Because they go inside my net. They're so small, they can get into any little gap that you leave, you know? And I gotta keep moving like this because they can't fly very fast, so this gives me a chance to lose the cloud for a bit. You get the point. I think it's time to go. Let's get in the tent before I get eaten alive, man. The midges are the protectors of the land. Still protecting it so well. What? How are there like 20 mages already in here? This is my reward for today. Mango dipped in dark chocolate. I, I'm gonna have only one though. <laughs> I gotta save them. Look at this bad boy. Mm. Yum. All right, one more, one more. Man, these things are great. That's it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow for day two. Good night. getting uh, kind of some blister action on my heels so I'm going to address that quickly because I'm only you know a fifth of the way through and uh, those blisters can turn pretty nasty so I'm going to put some Luco tape on top of the area hopefully that will alleviate some of the friction let's get out of here guys ah I feel like they're biting through the net man Get rid of this tarp. Ah, midges. Gotta hate the midges. Feel them crawling on my face. I don't get how this, they get through the net somehow. Ah, how they. Ah, so annoying. Yeah. I hate you, midges, so much. You don't understand how much I hate you. Foggy o'clock. Oh boy. 
Just trying to find a good place to uh, cross the river and then got to head up this ridge all the way up and behind it all the way to the peak, close to a thousand meters. barely making any progress like this. Whoops, I'm filming, but it's taking too long. Ah. Whoops, slipped there. Oh. Tell you what guys, this is really, really tough going. Really tough going. No path, very steep and muddy and slippery. And uh, even the trekking poles, Kind of dig down and bury into the mud. Um, it's gonna be a long day. We got a lot more to climb, a lot more. Sun's coming out there in the east. We're heading west. Really gotta watch my fluids and try stay hydrated. A lot of this route is um up high which means that the burns run dry so it'll be harder to get water once I'm up there so I'm carrying quite a bit of water now which makes my pack the heaviest on the steepest section of the route looks like no cloud cover either today so beautiful weather but mixed blessing really because it's gonna get hot and I'm gonna lose a lot more fluids this way Ooh. Rough, rough terrain. Well, not even three kilometers, guys. And it's uh, one hour and 40 minutes. So, real slow progress. I'm gonna have to uh, speed up my progress significantly to make it, um, you know, before dark. We gotta get up there. Camera doesn't do it justice. It's much steeper than it looks. I think the best route is coming here and then going that way. Absolutely brutal guys Super brutal terrain Not gonna lie. I am Hurting right now, but I think Hopefully this is like the worst of the route once I get high up It should be better But there's still plenty more Drops and elevation gains in the process yeah, This is so steep
so steep, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. I don't need the poles anymore. I need my hands to climb. Well, almost at the top now. 900 and something meters peak. And uh, it's killed me, man. It's taken a lot of energy out of me. Um, really steep ascent and the last bit here is a is a scramble here in the boulder fields not too long to go but already the views are looking pretty pretty majestic look at this wow Whoa. gonna lie a little bit overwhelmed guys uh, this challenge is proving to be much more difficult than I expected uh, three hours and 42 minutes since we left camp and yeah it's gonna be hard to cover the distance that I that I intend I'm just gonna put my head down and walk and do the best I can and try and make as many kilometers as I can today as possible down we go Losing that sweet elevation all the way down and then we're going to have to climb again. Oh. Guys, I think I need to do some thinking time-wise. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I can make it before sundown because the whole route is pretty high up. You have to carry your water for long distances and I've tried to keep my weight down as much as possible but Clearly not enough between the tripod, the camera gear, the battery banks and the water, you know, that's four or five kilos extra on top of everything else, the camping kit. And I'm trying to move as fast as I can, but uh, I've noticed I've uh, had a few little misjudgments uh, coming down the scree wall. I rolled my ankle a little bit and it didn't hurt at all, but uh, already getting weary, you know, I don't, I don't like those signs when they come. It's just like a it's a bit of a warning. My gut is telling me to stop and my pride is uh, saying, don't be a wuss, carry on and, and do it. Feeling a little dejected, I'm not gonna lie. This is a very, very committing route. Once you commit to the furthest point on the route, you gotta hike all the way out. Not only that, but you have to camp up high. Um, and I was planning to camp up on uh, Avagin and that's uh, 950 meters, something like that. I only have my summer bag with me, which is rated to come for plus five Celsius. If the temperature drops to, you know, zero or something like that, which it could, this high up in elevation, you know, it'd be a bit of a miserable night. I'd be shivering a bit. You know, all the factors are just adding up. My head isn't in the right space. And I have to respect that gut feeling with my tail between my legs, come down the mountain and um, swallow my pride here and just live to fight another day, you know? Having said that, there's still a significant challenge to come down. We're really high up still. And I'm gonna try and cut the route now and drop down into the valley. Maybe we'll find a beautiful campsite by the river or there's a nice loch with a beach on it. I think the adventure is not turning out as I planned, but it doesn't mean that it has to be a bad one. So let's just make the best of it and enjoy being in this beautiful wilderness.
still at it guys got 300 meters uh, of elevation to lose still terrain just completely kicked my butt mixture of the hot maybe and losing fluids faster my energy levels are just not there today mixture of that maybe lack of determination today i i, I don't know made it to the loch absolutely exhausted it's been a long day let's look for a place to camp well made it this far guys not even 14 kilometers in seven and a half hours well guys this is gonna be home for tonight i'm absolutely fried and frankly don't really trust my brain with any more decisions today i actually need to be on on the other side of this river tomorrow Ay, ay, ay. Camp is set, but uh, the water is calling me. It's a little bit chilly now, actually, with the wind, but uh, I sweated so much that uh, it's going to do me really good to get clean and uh, have a better sleep. So a little bit of pain and a lot of pleasure after. <laughs> All right, guys, nice to be in the tent, nice and cozy with warm clothes and uh, fresh after that cold dip. I was feeling a little bit down on myself towards the end of the day. I felt like I failed, you know, I didn't accomplish the challenge that I set myself. And, um, you know, in life, you don't get what you want, you get what you need. And I think this is what I needed today, a little bit of humbling. I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. But anyway, feeling much better, happy to be here and grateful to be experiencing this beautiful Scottish wilderness. And for dinner, nuts, granola, snacks, oatcakes, a little bit of everything. Mm. When you have breakfast for dinner, breakfast for breakfast and breakfast for lunch. pillow isn't exactly ultralight and that's maybe the reason why I didn't make it today but I'm glad I have it right now this pillow is so comfy good night guys all right good morning guys that's camp broken down now and 
Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day, a little bit chilly right now. I've decided I'm going to try and cross this river. Um, first of all, it would save me two kilometers hiking, and second of all, it would save me a boggy section. Here goes nothing. So we've just shaved off two kilometers. So we've gone down from 11 to nine now, back to the car, nine kilometers. This adventure may not have been the one I planned, but it's definitely a good one. And it's good to be here. Little lesson there in life, you know, go with the flow, take the now, because that's all we got, a series of nows. and it's an absolutely beautiful morning. All right, made it to Cheneval Bothy and I just have that mountain pass and then Another six kilometers, maybe, to the car. Let's check it out, maybe. Looks like there's an upstairs. Nice. Nice sleeping area here, actually. But I definitely prefer wild camping much more. Only weaklings can't carry the rubbish out with them. Well said. Up, up we go. Sweating bullets, sweating bullets. Nice and open here, relatively flat and uh, easier going for now. Oh boy. Thank you for that. How much for avoiding the bog? I just went like halfway to my knee. Look at this. Look at this fog. Oh. Well guys, what an adventure that was. Fantastic three days in the Scottish wilderness. Beautiful landscapes, we had tough terrain, we had uh, midges, and we had a humbling dose of nature. Beautiful, serene campsites. Slightly disappointed that I didn't complete the original plan. Clearly not as strong a hiker as I thought I was. Got to continue building my strength and my resilience for the next adventure. In terms of uh, progress, we did a total distance of this. The total time was this, and average speed was this, and total ascent for the trip was this. With that guys, thanks for watching as always. I gotta run to the airport, return this car rental, and catch a plane to London. Thanks for watching.